The Princess of Wales quickly conquered the hearts of the public after her fairy tale wedding with the heir to the throne on July 29, 1981. The rising popularity of Diana, however, didn't please her husband, and his negative stance on her fame contributed to open an irreconcilable rift between them. In her book Diana, Ms. Bradford recalled the excitement surrounding the royal couple's first tour to Canada in the summer of 1983 according to royal author Sarah Bradford. Read more, Royal Row, How Charles Fumed at Diana Over Christmas Present Gone Wrong She reported a member of their staff saying, I think they were happy, they had William out the, a sort of family enclave. The royal's happiness, who one year earlier welcomed into the world their first-born Prince William was quickly shadowed by little tensions creeping in and caused by Charles's petulance. The source continued, but one was aware of little tensions. Read more, Princess Diana's furious Prince Charles rant revealed, I kissed a frog and found a toad he couldn't understand that they wanted to see a beautiful woman either than a man in a suit. It was so unnecessary because together they were absolute dynamite and that was really sad, actually. But one was just aware of a sort of petulance in him and she, I think, found it very difficult, knowing how to cope with that. And she was quite emotional at that time, there were tears, she didn't understand and it was all very stressful. Before his wedding, Charles was used to be the only one under the spotlight, with crowds cheering only at him when attending a royal engagement. According to Ms. Bradford, the Prince of Wales badly adjusted to the idea of sharing the limelight. The author wrote, Charles's resentment at his wife's popularity began to poison their relationship. His puzzlement at people's reaction to her was palpable, as he once said to a friend, why do they love her so much? All she ever did was to say yes to me. But despite Charles's annoyance, the crowd's adulation for Diana kept growing all around the world. Ms. Bradford wrote, one British magazine dubbed her royal superstar. According to a recent American poll she was the most popular woman in the world. Paris Match said she was more popular in France than Brigitte Bardot. Diana and Charles's relationship deteriorated during the years. The couple officially separated in 1992 and divorced in 1996, one year before Diana's sudden death. But their problems were laid bare by the Princess of Wales herself before the bitter divorce, during an interview released in 1995 by BBC Panorama. Then, she famously spoke of her husband's affair with Camilla Parker Bowles and went as far questioning Prince Charles's qualities for becoming king.